Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Scorpio. This is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the month of January. A lot of you will be watching this before January, this for January 2021. So I would suggest that you watch it. You can watch it now, but watch it then. This is a preview of what's to come for January, okay? So let's get started. What do we have for January for Scorpio? What do we have for Scorpio? What do we have for Scorpio for January? Ooh, conflict and defeat. So this is the Five of Swords, okay? So you may be feeling defeated. You may be wanting to run away or somebody. And now this can go, this can be, these readings can go for the cross watcher as well. Somebody is running away from a conflict because they have been defeated and they just want out it's getting this over with because that's what i feel it's like i just got to get out of here i got to get i got to get out of here so somebody's going to be running away from a situation uh you know it's it's funny leaving behind the darkness it's like i gotta go i can't stay here and there's a lot of people that are involved. It feels like there's there's people that are intruding in your life. Okay, they're intruding, they're causing problems, and you may, you know, just need to get away. That's what it looks like to me. It feels like you're you're getting out of a situation. You, you notice these these people are going in, you're getting out. So it's like it's interesting. It is very interesting. There's some sort of uh needing to escape a situation i just got to get out of here i can't take it anymore somebody may have been draining you draining your energy um there's, there could be a fight there could be an argument you're on your own it's like you're pushing away you notice this pushing away the demons you see the hand over there i know it's dark it's very dark you see the hand pushing away the demons if I can get it to zoom in, it's hard to see. But anyway, there's demons over there that are, you are pushing away. You're pushing somebody away. And I think that you need to. I do feel like you need to. Um, what do we have for Scorpio? Look at your pattern in relationships. It requires inner strength to recognize that you need to change or modify your behavior. So there's some repetitive pattern that you keep repeating. What I just heard in my head was looks. And I don't know what that means. I don't know. Maybe you always go for blondes. Maybe you always go for people that have a certain physique. That's what I just heard. I don't I don't know why. Now this three plus two, thirty-two equals five, and five, fives are about choices. They're about your life choices. So the choices that you have made in the past are going to be affecting you this month. You're going to need to make better choices, okay? Um, five, five is expect the unexpected, okay? A major life change is coming. Fives are also about conflict. So you are going to be dealing with some conflict this month. Um, I think that you're going to be letting somebody go, okay? And I don't know who it is, and this reading could go vice versa. You you may have chosen somebody that um, is very similar to people that you have chosen in the past, okay? That's what I see. I feel like you're going to be breaking free. This is freedom here. You're going to be saying, nope, uh-uh, you're not it. You're not it. I feel like... Um, you're going to need to re-examine your choices. You know, choose somebody that may not look the part. You know, that's what I'm trying to say. You know what I mean? I feel like I feel like your choices are being affected by how things look on the surface. You know what I mean? Look below the surface in the future. Make sure you're looking. Make sure you're looking deep, 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 deep before you uh, leap into a relationship with somebody. And I know you guys are very deep. I know that you're a very deep soul. 
And I think that you try to do that, but there's a lot of, you, I mean, you are a water sign. So there's a lot of fantasy that uh, may override the truth. So make sure that you are get, being grounded when you're making your choices. Are you fantasizing? Are you romantic, romanticizing how somebody could be? Not seeing who they truly are on the inside. I feel like this month you are going to be walking away from somebody that is actually a demon. And you didn't see it because there was something on the outside that you were attracted to. Look at the pattern in relationships. And I know you guys aren't usually superficial. I know that you're not. And you're not. You're not superficial. You don't usually choose on looks. I know that you don't. Okay. You guys are very uh, open. Okay. You're open to um, what you feel. You know, you're open to what your, your feelings say. You listen to your gut. <laughs> it's interesting. It's hard to explain. I feel like you guys are the most... One, I think you are the most. I think you are the most open to a person. That's how I feel. You know, not based on their looks. So this is very interesting. Look at your patterns in relationships. It requires inner strength to recognize that you need to change or modify your behavior. And this, maybe this is behavior. Uh, your behavior. There's some sort of darkness here. And that could be your behavior. There's, and it's funny because I mentioned the fantasy, illusion. There's something that you're dealing with somebody. Maybe you looked at the good. You looked at the good and you didn't see the bad. Something is happening here. Anyhow, how, what do we have for Scorpio? Look at your pattern in relationships. You are going to be walking away from somebody that is very hard to deal with. Okay? This person is... Likes to fight all the time. Maybe you allow it. It doesn't have to be a love relationship. It could be a parent-child relationship. Four of Cups reversed. Missed an op Somebody missed something. Now they see it. Somebody missed. They did. They missed it, but now they see it. Five of Swords. We get the Five of Swords twice. You're dealing with somebody that is very combative. Okay? This person loves to fight. This is like war zone. I feel like you are definitely with somebody that... Or in this reading can go vice versa. If you were the cross watcher, this reading could be for you. We got somebody here that thrives on conflict. This is somebody who likes to win at all costs. It could be a narcissist. You are dealing with somebody that is very hard to deal with. They like to fight. They push everybody away. It's not just you. And maybe you need to look at their previous history. Maybe that's what this is. Maybe it's them that chooses people on their looks. And you need to look. And that could absolutely be the case. Okay, because I feel like it's not you. I do. I just feel like it's not you. You're not that person. I know that you're not. So it's interesting. I feel like you're starting to see that whoever you are dealing with, and it definitely could be a family member. It could be a husband, though. It could be a wife. I don't know. But there's somebody that you are dealing with that is just very combative. This person is disagreeable, and it's like you now see that you can't be around this person. You, you do want to walk away. It's like, I can't be around you. So I feel like... Or they can't, there's going to be a separation, put it that way. Somebody's leaving. High priestess, very, very intuitive. Now, the high priestess tends to listen to their gut. Keeps things to themselves, observes, and reacts when the time is right. So I feel like there's, there's messages that are coming to you. I think that you are highly, highly, highly intuitive. I know that you are. Um... Communicating. Communication. I feel like you, some of you may be communicating with a, a spiritual person, okay? And the spiritual person could be yourself, okay? This is somebody that is very spiritual. This is a tarot reader, a medium, a psychic, an empath, 
a healer of some sort. There is some sort of awakening going on. This is a wake-up call. This is the truth. A secret is coming out or a secret has been revealed. You know the truth. You know the truth. You do. You know that whoever you're dealing with... Uh, is a narcissist. You're dealing with a fucking narcissist. And, you know, I feel like um, you need to walk away. You need to walk away from this person. Um, and I think that you see it very, very, very clearly. I think that you see very, very clearly who you're do dealing with. I think that you're being poked. I think that you know that you will never win with this person. This person likes to win at all costs and you allow it. You allow it. You allow yourself to continue to get into relationships with people that don't value you or they can control you. You let them control you. Okay? Don't let people control you. Anyhow, I don't know whose message that is for. Um, you have a new opportunity here. Okay, but you've got to be honest with yourself. You need to follow your gut and you need to walk away from whoever this is that is belittling you. This person is belittling. They don't have anything good to say. They put you down at all costs. This is like an extreme power struggle. Okay, I also feel like there's been some sort of crime, perhaps. There could be a crime or there has been a crime and it's been kept a secret. If there has, it could be exposed this month, okay? And, I, and crimes, they can happen in different ways. If there's been any crimes committed, it could definitely, the truth could come out about this and it could be exposed. Nine of Wands. Now, the Nine of Wands is extremely worn down, growing weary. You may be growing weary. You may be overwhelmed. You may feel like, you know, what's next? You may be expecting some trouble, okay? I feel like you've come a long way. Don't give up, okay? Maybe maybe you're ready to just throw in the towel and, you know, never get in another relationship again or whatever. You don't need to do that. You don't need to do that. Everything happens for a reason. This, what, you know, this kind of stuff builds your character. Now, you may be in whoever you're dealing with, and I don't usually say this, I just had the J and the B uh, stuck out at me. So the initials J and B, this may be somebody that you're dealing with. This person may have brought you to your knees, okay? They may have really belittled you to the point, and it doesn't have to be those initials, but it could be B and J. It's J and B, B and J. It could be any initials. Either way, I feel like you are a very strong individual. Do not let this person break you, okay? Don't let them break you. You're dealing with somebody that um, is really testing you. Really, really, te this is a test. It's a test of your endurance. It's a test of your strength. It's a test of your confidence. Okay, look how far you have come. You have the strength to, to break free, to get away from this person. Do not let them hold you back. You are dealing with a narcissist. And they are not supposed, they're not supposed to be treating you like this, but you're allowing it. Take your power back. This Ace of Swords is the power. You have the opportunity. This is about taking the power in your own hands, being honest with yourself, being truthful, taking a new approach. You may, you may, you may get this new idea or this new epiphany that says it's a gut in your gut that says that it's time for you to go. Or this person may be leaving. I don't know where they would be going because I don't think anybody wants them. I sure as hell wouldn't want this person for no reason. I've already lived this story with the initials JB. So I don't, I don't know. I don't have Scorpio any in my prominent places, placement. So I don't know who this reading is for. Um, must be for you, right? I feel as though there's some sort of needing to wake up, needing to take your power back. You need to be honest with yourself. You're going to get some sort of epiphany. It's going to come from within 
or from a spiritual person. Okay, this could be a tarot reader. I don't know who it is. You're going to get some sort of information from somebody, whether it's from within yourself or from another person that says that you have to uh, protect yourself. You've got to protect yourself. Go, move. Somebody's going to be moving. You need to you need to take charge. You need to be in the driver's seat. You need to go. You you need to take ownership. You need to take a journey. You need to find your inner strength and your courage and your confidence to move out of this situation. You may also be receiving news that this person who is moving, somebody's moving or something like that. They're moving, they're going someplace. Um, this is taking a journey, traveling, going somewhere, packing up, um, facing opposition. You need to find your strength to deal with any opposition. Okay. Um, you could be dealing with a cancer. You could be dealing with a Pisces. Um, I do feel like you are going to be, um, taking a new opportunity with that four of cups reversed. I feel like you're going to be letting go of somebody that has hurt you. They've brought you down. They have belittled you. You may have trusted them for I don't know what reason. Maybe you didn't know your value. I feel like you didn't know your... That's what it is. Because like, I'm, I'm holding my heart. You know, you wanted to give this person a chance. You know, you looked deeper. You did look deeper. But I feel like whoever you're dealing with is a narcissist. And I feel like somebody is moving. And I think that this it, this movement is going to bring you peace. I feel like it is. I think it's going to bring you peace. It's going to bring you uh, an ability to, you know, do your own thing. This is a very independent energy. Become independent. This is part of the script. Okay, this was all part of the script. The High Priestess holds the script. I feel like this has... Um, made you stronger whatever this situation was has has made you a stronger person it's about your character now you have an opportunity to go someplace else your somebody is is taking a new approach and they're going someplace they're, they're moving they're traveling and this is going to be whether it's you or them this is going to um, end this battle okay it's going to bring you peace it is going to bring you peace. Um, King of Wands. Now this could be, you could be work, you could work with this person. I don't know. It could be a father. Um, whoever this person is, they are unreasonable. They are the boss. They um, order you around. I think you've been ordered, you've been ordered to do something against, you know, that you don't want to do. Um... I feel like you definitely need to to take the leadership role away from this person. You need to take the lead of your own life. I feel like you are going to do that. I feel like you are going to find your strength. I think that your your drive and your ambition and your confidence is going to get better as soon as you realize you're definitely going to be realizing something. You're going to be realizing that whoever it was that brought you down uh, you're going to probably realize that that happened for a reason because it, it built your character. But anyhow, um, you could be dealing with the Aries, Leo, Sagittarius as well. This person, somebody is moving. They're moving. And I feel like there's an unexpected choice. Somebody has a, and it is, expect the unexpected with those fives. This is an unexpected choice in love. So this is, there's a, there's an unexpected choice and it happens very suddenly, I believe. Suddenly somebody decides that it's time to go and they may have another option. That's why they choose. They choose to move or they choose to go. Now, the lovers is about peace and harmony and soulmates and major choices. Somebody may be falling in love and they're moving towards that new love. This is an unexpected choice in love. It's an un unexpected choice to go after peace and harmony.
I think we have a very, I feel like we have a very, uh, you've been in a relationship with somebody that is very controlling. This is definitely a narcissist. I'm, I'm positive. And I feel like you are about to get some sort of information or something that it's a surprise. It really surprises you. This breaks you free. This breaks you free from this hold, okay? Maybe this person has fallen in love with somebody and they're moving. They're moving away or you're moving away or something like that. Um, or, or, yeah, that's what's going on here. Some of you are going to be just working on your spirituality, okay? You're going to be you're going through some sort of awakening. A spiritual awakening. I think that you are headed towards success. You're headed towards being in charge of your own life. I think you're going to be taking your power back. Your drive, your ambition, your confidence is going to come back. Your strength, your mental strength is going to is going to come back. I feel like you've been drained by somebody. This person has really brought you to your knees. They have. I think that they've wounded you. They've hurt you really really bad. And I feel like this this month this month, you are going to be parting ways with this person. This person is either moving or you are moving. And I feel like it's, 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 uh, it's been coming for a while. There's been a lot of fighting. There's been a lot of fighting. It's been a battle zone. It has. And there's been a lot of belittling. Um... A lot of conflict. So this month, <clears throat> somebody is running away. They are. <clears throat> it's funny, my throat. Somebody is definitely running away. It's, I'm out. Goodbye. So this is goodbye. It's goodbye. So I feel like in January, you will be in control. Now you're going to be the boss. You're... Now you're in the driver's seat because this person leaves or you leave. Good luck.